high prices, so that does not allow them to do anything because anchoring is at work because they have seen an index of 21,000 to sell an index of 18,000 people freely because they are anchored to that 21,000 index. Media reports are mixed. Some people say these are great times to buy so you should be buying. Some people say this balancing loop goes on and on on and on. Stock prices slowly slowly starts getting corrected. People start getting out that builds up a crisis of confidence. When people don't know where the story is, because if a stock which was 500, all of a sudden it is 200, people believe that there was something wrong. But they are not able to identify because at 200, a lot of fools, because it is down so much, start buying in. So the, uh, there is high volatility in those stocks. And so a crisis of confidence is created. Fear is at its peak at this, uh, at this point of time. But because of decision paralysis, decisions making become very difficult. Fall starts continuing. Then who precipitates that fall? The bankers. The same banks who had lent money, they saying, they ask for their calls. Can they, sorry, this stock is not worth it, you give me the money. So all those people who had borrowed on this stock when it was 500 rupees, when it is 200 rupees, they have to pay the difference. So, so, so when the finances starts pulling back, they think it's like the bankers, we have always heard, they'll give you umbrella when it's not raining. So when really when you require the money, this thing, the money starts getting out of it. And when all these things happen, mutual funds also start selling because mutual funds, they get their redemption from the, uh, from the clients. What do they do? They have to. So now, it's not that people don't want to sell. They are forced to sell. Negative media reports, all these things starts coming in. And then what do you do is, scams start surfacing because you got to always have someone to blame for. So there will be a sure, they're saying different types of scams being reported, whether they are right or wrong, you know. But they do vitiate the atmosphere at that point of time. Now this is the balancing loop which is working. Whatever the excess is there, they are being removed. Selling pressure ultimately continue, continues. And then investors, retail investors, they get fed up. Oh, we didn't sell at 500, we didn't sell at 200, now let's sell it at 100 rupees also. That's how, again, the herd mentality works. And the best always take command. So those people, they start hammering the stocks and everyone is unhappy just now. The government is one happy and the regulator is unhappy, everyone. So what does the government do? They cannot do anything. So there is someone to be there. So they tell the regulator, find the culprit. Culprit was everyone, but someone has to be found out. Because in a bull and a bear market, a bull market can only take place by the power of money and a bear market can only come by an information leak. Beyond these two, then nothing can happen because if you all have to buy stocks, what do we require is money to buy stocks. Bankers are there, financiers are there, they will give us. And if this has to go down, what is required? Information that things are not right. Now that is exactly what happened. They think, when the bear market, uh, they saying set in, uh, they saying after the tech boom was that Anand Rathi's tapes and all, he was just talking, they saying what are the positions of the people. It was considered as vital information. Now we don't know. They saying that was he really as the president of the stock exchange? Was he really looking at? Uh, they saying who was doing that, or was he trying to get vital information? But vital information can only get a bear market. The same vital information was with Arshad Mehta when he went to meet the chairman of State Bank of India. What was he doing there? Why was he there twice in three days? So that was an information which went. Ketan Parekh, the same information, how much he had borrowed from the Calcutta brokers. Now he was not able to. Now that was a vital information for a bear market. All these are vital. So bear markets happen only with information. Now when this happens, the, the bubble has already burst. Now, uh, now, if you really look at, there are different types of legal biases amongst different participants which got in the bull run and the same behavioral biases, if you are able to identify, it does not require a rocket science. So, what I have told you there, even in today's market, if the price has just gone up this, you got to be careful, you know what is happening. Yes, the mistake you can make is, oh, let me get into it, but I am smart enough, I will get out fast. That is what everyone was thinking. But nobody can do that. Now, the severity of the balancing loop is directly proportional to the severity of the reinforcing loop. 
and that is what we saw in the tech stocks the severity was so much that it, it also went down like a stock like visual stock went up to 10,000 rupees it went down to as low as 40 rupees similar was the case with all the DLF uh, they say real estate companies the severity of the reinforcing was so strong that the balancing loop also took that like DLF high price was about 1300 and the lowest was 150 after this thing it was back now. So as I told you bull market is always a source of money, bear markets is always a source of energy. Beyond that they say and there is nothing else which can tell you about a bull or a bear market breaking. That is why to uh, say, uh, quote Gustav, to know the art of impressing the imagination of crowd is to know at the same time the art of governing them. But if you are able to understand this is how this crowd behavior is there. I assure you it is very easy to really <coughs> get good investment opportunities in the stock market. You got to be just yes one thing what is required is discipline how you look at the market from away. You think do not get swayed by any emotions and if you are without that then you can definitely. Thank you. I will take any questions. Thanks. For the markets to react mm. after the 2007 or 8 crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Now, also, we are seeing a similar crisis as far as the euro is concerned. Mm. Mm. Has it started or it will still take time to hit the market very more? Uh, in a heavy see, first is you are assuming that euro is a thing which will hit the Indian markets. Now, uh, see, that has no relevance with this. It is bad news to the market. But what system thinking what we did, no, it has no relevance with that. Even at that time, the US market, uh, real estate prices had no value with the Indian market. No, no, no. See, I will tell you, no, no, no. What I am, see, your question is that what will happen to these markets? They say, the, they say the euro will be bad news, it can affect the market. But this is now. <coughs> I cannot say that how much will it affect because uh, yeah this is when it will affect as I told you the more and more the reinforcing loop is there the more time it may take nobody knows the timeline you know. No but the subprime as you mentioned yeah. uh, took that much time you know so what is so different uh, about that subprime compared to say euro uh, today you know as you mentioned number or somebody mentioned numbers like um, Spain. Uh, 1 uh, yeah. trillion, uh. Uh, Italy 1.3 trillion, uh, Greece, uh, whatever it is, you know, X many trillions. Hmm. You know, is that not an indicator enough like uh, the subprime? Yeah, yeah, definitely these are indicators. I, I, they say, I do not say they are not any indicators. But what is the question? The question is that uh, because these things are there, so indicator tells you that it can happen. It can, yes. It will go down again. Yes, yes. Depending <coughs> on the severity. Of uh, what happens to say, Spain, Portugal, yes. whatever, it is. and two of them have to happen, and then the market will be uh, so. Somewhere along the line, one has to think that well, let me <coughs> now see how I can protect myself. I agree with you. Now, what you are telling, something will happen. So similarly, if it goes down and out, even a balancing loop will come over there, and certain things will change. Now, I'll tell you. The markets would have gone down drastically after the 2008 crash and all. What happened? A balancing loop from an outside like government bailouts and all came. Now that may not work because the system has to work this thing, in accordance with its, uh, this thing, with its parts. So if an excess stimulation you can take it away or uh, this thing, or you can uh, this thing, postpone it. But the effect has to be rectified over a period of time. How did, the, how did the, both the Reliance company shares go up when you are saying that there was no, there was no okay. understanding? But then next day they came back, no this thing, they came back. See that's what I am trying to tell you, this is a market psychology, the, what can happen, what did happen to any of the Reliance companies in one day that their fortunes changed? Nothing happened to the company, in one day what can happen? Even the accountant will not know okay, whether they made a profit or uh, this thing law. It's just psychology. It's just psychology. And everything is done. So everyone starts buying. And next day again it came back to normal. News effect only. Only news effect. Mm -hmm. News effect. It's her mentality effect. Because, but actually that agreement was not even in place. 